We must go to the forest of Karnan. Something calls me. Not all calls should be answered, Talion. You know what we're going to find in here, don't you? As much as anyone can know. This is the work of Karnan. This is the forest of Karnan, and she will protect it with the full power of nature. This forest is possessed by death as much as life. The two are bound together. That is Karnan. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what you've walked into. <laughs> You'll never make it out of here alive. Or oh, dead. Oh, whatever you are. <laughs> not attack us. They hear her song. They are part of her as she is part of them. Yet they will defend. She is watching us. No. She's drawing us in. This Karnan has been busy. Where are you? differences in here in here we're just food I found it the tree she's the tree spirit of Karnan is tree and beast fang and claw root and spear <laughs> wasn't there before. Unlike this fleshling. Hmm. Where is your rot? Your buddings? Do you grow? 
do you with her? No. No, no. A lifeless beast are you. But no. For you die and die. Not lifeless, but deathless. Hmm, a flesh haunted thing. Talia, we cannot defeat her. What would you suggest I do? Throw down your sword and kneel. I will not kneel to this thing. This is also nature. In all its fury. Can you tell it to stop? It does not reason with the wind. We burn with you, and return will we.
it seems this Karnan isn't as powerful. <laughs> Unleashed to rise and rise again. In a hole go you. What have we unleashed? The cry of the forests. The scream of the rivers. Great spirit of Khan. See so cry and clamor. You have woken Dorgorot. Crooked and creviced until now. I opened the Dark Lord. He stokes its flames. Forges cage like kindling for shattering fire to come. Burn you. Burn we. A fire for all it will be. What? Have we awoken? Undead! Ringmaker, your forge sings. A crack across the land. Fire woken by a cold metal ring. We hear your call. Allow us to help. Yes. You will. You. A deathless beast. You. A flesh haunted thing. We will find Tor Goroth. Go now. Your Balrog waits. He rises in doom shadow. Fight till death and rise again, you will fight. Soon and soon. Death will defeat undead. It seems this ring has woken more than Sauron. Yes, we must go to Gorgoroth and deal with this Balrog. Orcs fight each other endlessly to climb the hierarchy. Then we shall find the ones who rise to the top. They are who we want in our army. Mordor has no shortage of seasoned warriors. From them we will build our army. Man is overrun with orcs, perfect for our purpose. What became of Athario? The people? Queen Marwyn, it was she who first suggested an orc army. This time will be different. We have the new ring.
I've had enough of your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm gonna kill you. For all these orcs to see. Always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, Yeah, alright, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. Tickle, maybe, but you're gonna need more than that to take me down. Bruise. Thing, really, and results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain. Deadly smart, which, oh, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron, and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Ooh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya?
Weakening enemy power is important. But what is most crucial for conquest is strengthening our own forces. The Nazgul have surely tracked us here. They will find more than they bargained for. Clean wounds, and they never unsheathe their weapons. This looks like Eltario's work. Well, she is indiscriminate. By the look of it, some of these would have made good followers. We must find her before she eliminates all our potential recruits. Though if she did, we'd have little need of an army. If you were looking for ring wraiths, you're too late. But before I engaged him, he was speaking to an orc who was different than the others. There are worms nearby. Perhaps they can tell us what is going on. If we take them alive. You don't decide whom I let live, Ringmaker. You'd both do well to remember that. We're building new vats. Your war is over. Oh, oh. I'll stick to killing them. <laughs> the blade of collateral comes for you. Someone. The Nazgul have dealings with special orcs. What are they? They're called the Chosen! I don't know what they're chosen for! Yeah. 
What is the purpose of the Chosen? Secure the idea! It's something to do with the Sea and Stone! That's all I know! What have the Hydea revealed? Uh, only the Shriekers know! The, the Chosen kill anyone else who gets close! The Chosen, where do they come from? The Shriekers make them in some kind of ritual. All very secret. I don't know where. This is the end. Die, man, Phil. The dogs will be now. I've got you. Get back in. So long as the Witch King has the Palantir, any towers the Chosen hold will be his eyes. Then we must blind them. to create the Chosen. Where is it performed? No one knows. When a captain selected, the Shrieker send a worm to tell him where to go. We must tell Eltariel what we know. This need not concern her. We have our mission and she has hers. Her mission is the destruction of the enemy that tracks us. The more information we share, the better. King is using the Hydea to track the ring. They extend the Palantir's reach. Orcs called the Chosen guard them. And the enemy may hold the Palantir, but the Hydea themselves are vulnerable. So, we know their design. And now we dismantle it.
The Witch King attempts to regain what was lost. He will succeed only in losing more. You Tarks are. Taunts and threats, you know, what do you call it? Banter back and forth. Seems to me that's what's missing from most fights these days. Everyone's so keen on bashing each other's brains in, they hardly say a word to each other. <laughs> Interesting, that, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think? No, oh, I don't care what you think. And after we defeat the Dark Lord, what then? Middle-earth will be free of his corruption. The men and the elves and the dwarves will squabble, and someone else will rise.
fight this folly, Ranger. You accomplish nothing. The idea belongs to the Witch King. He tracks you, and soon he will dominate you. Hurry! They must not reclaim the Hydea. They will not. A Karagor would help us cover ground more quickly. Once we have retaken these towers, we should find Eltarion. She must know what is happening. She could be watching us right now. Reclaim this idea. I am the Witch King's chosen, and you are a traitor to him. Zah. <laughs>
thought about why Altariel was selected to be Galadriel's blade. I can't presume to know what is in an elf's mind. Surely this Galadriel would seem the best. I don't question whether she is the best. Only whether she is the first. you down and for the witch king reclaim the hide here for I am chosen dream Yeah! 
Chosen are tenacious indeed. The Nazgul are wise to create such powerful servants. However powerful the Chosen may be, the ritual to create them is where they will be weakest. Indeed. When the final tower is ours, we should turn our attention to finding the ritual's location. This idea belongs to the Witch King! And so do you, Ranger. Yeah! <laughs> 
With each tower we reclaim, the Witch King's vision diminishes. We will rob the Witch King of more than his vision. 